Good morning, and welcome to the historic Basilica Cathedral of St. John the Baptist. We welcome all of you present and those joining us through live stream. We pray that you are all in good health. We ask all present to please re respect the instructions given by our ushers and the guidelines in place to prevent the spread of COVID-19, including using hand sanitizers, maintaining a distance of two meters, and wearing face masks when entering, leaving, or moving within the church. The wearing of masks is optional while seated. At the time of communion, we will give you further instructions. At the end of Mass, we ask that you follow the usher's directions for leaving the church. Our presider today is Archbishop Hunt, and our gathering chant is number 471 in the Catholic Book of Worship, Blessed are the pure in heart. Please stand. Son and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. In today's gospel passage, we hear Jesus say that where two or three are gathered in my name, I am there among them. Aware that Christ is here with us as we celebrate this Mass, let us bring to him our prayers and petitions and let us ask him forgiveness for our sins. to heal the contrite of heart. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. You came to call sinners. God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in your mercy led St. Clair to a love of poverty, grant through her intercession that following Christ in poverty of spirit, we may merit to contemplate you one day in the heavenly kingdom, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses went up from the plains of Moab to Mount Nebo, to the top of Pisgah, and to up which is opposite Jericho. And the Lord showed him the whole land, Gilead as far as Dan, and Naphtali, the land of Ephraim and Manasseh, all the land of Judah as far as the western sea. The Negev and the plain, that is, the valley of Jericho, the city of palm trees as far as Zor, the Lord said to him, this is the land of which I swore to Abraham and Isaac and to Jacob, saying, I will give it to your descendants. I have let you see it with your eyes, but you shall not cross over there. Then Moses, the servant of the Lord, died there in the land of Moab, at the Lord's command. He was buried in a valley in the land of Moab, opposite Bethpur. But no one knows his burial place to this day. Moses was 120 years old when he died. His sight was unimpaired, and his vigor had not abated. The Israelites wept for Moses in the plains of Moab for 30 days, Then the period of mourning for Moses was ended. Joshua, son of Nun, was full of spirit of wisdom because Moses had laid his hands on him and the Israelites obeyed him, doing as the Lord had commanded Moses. Never since has there there arisen a prophet in Israel like Moses, whom the Lord knew face to face He was unequaled for all the signs and wonders that the Lord sent to him to perform in the land of Egypt against the Pharaoh and all his servants and his entire land and for all the mighty deeds and all the terrifying displays of power that Moses performed in the sight of all of Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 66, make a joyful noise to God, all the earth. Make a joyful noise to God, all the earth. Make a joyful noise to God all the earth. Make a joyful noise to God all the earth. Sing the glory of his name. Give to him glorious praise. Say to God how awesome are your deeds make a joyful noise to God all the earth all the earth worships you they sing praises to you sing praises to your name come and see God has done. He is awesome in his deeds among the children of Adam. Make a joyful noise to God all the earth. 
He turned the sea to dry land. They passed through the river on foot. There we rejoiced in him who rules by his might forever. Make a joyful noise to God all the earth. Come and hear all you who fear God, and I will tell what he has done for me. Blessed be God, because he has not rejected my prayer or removed his steadfast love from me. Make a joyful noise to God all the earth. Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, If your brother or sister sins against you, go and point out the fault when the two of you are alone. If the brother or sister listens to you, you have regained that one. But if you are not listened to, take one or two others along with you so that every word may be confirmed by the evidence of two or three witnesses. If the brother or sister refuses to listen to them, tell it to the church. And if the offender refuses to listen even to the church, let such a one be to you as a Gentile and a tax collector. Truly I tell you, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. And whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Again, truly I tell you, if two of you agree on earth about anything you ask, it will be done for you by my Father in heaven. For where two or three are gathered in my name, I am there among them. The Gospel of the Lord. In today's first reading, we hear a praise of Moses. Never since, there, never since has there arisen a prophet in Israel like Moses, whom the Lord knew face to face. He was unequaled for all the signs and wonders that the Lord sent him to perform in the land of Egypt. Great praise for Moses. But What's also portrayed about Moses and important for us to remember is that uh, he was imperfect. Uh, he was criticized and persecuted even by his brother and sister. He was overwhelmed at times and became frustrated and would turn to the Lord and say, you know, if this is the way you want to treat me, please kill me. 
He had doubts at times. Uh, just a couple of days ago, we heard in the readings about Mariba how he, he struck the rock twice because nothing happened the first time. And we also see that he's a man who planted the seed, but Joshua was, was the one who reaped the harvest. Uh, for 40 years, Moses led the people through the desert, but it was Joshua that brought them into the promised land. These are important things for us to keep in mind because sometimes with saints and people like uh, Moses, we have a tendency to put them on a pedestal and think, well, we can't be anything like them. But in fact, we are all much alike. We all are frail, we all are weak, but we all are unique and blessed by God. And he wants each one of us in our own way uh, to be a prophet and a leader of his people. Today we celebrate the feast of St. Clair of Assisi, uh, who founded the Poor Clares, uh, who at 18 years of age heard a sermon given by Francis of Assisi and decided to dedicate her life to poverty. Not only did she herself enter into that life of poverty, but her sister Agnes entered into it with her uh, almost immediately, and later her other sister Beatrice and her mother also joined her. Uh, so Claire of Assisi was in her own way a leader by her example and by her openness to God. As we continue in our Mass today, I think the Lord is inviting us uh, through the Feast of St. Clair and uh, this reading about Moses to think about how is he calling us to be leaders. Uh, certainly at times we're well aware of our weaknesses. And this is a time maybe to say, okay, Lord, I know that despite my weaknesses, you do wish to work through me. You do want me to lead your people in some small way by my example and my way of life. Not only do we seek to know the Lord's will for us, but through the Eucharist, we ask him to nourish us inspire us by the word, and uh, give us strength through the body and blood of Christ that we receive in the sacrament. The Lord is good, and as he has used Moses and Claire, so he wishes to use us for the glory of his name and for the building up of his church here on earth. God bless you. Jesus has assured us that where two or more are gathered in his name, he is present among them. With confidence, then, let us offer to him our prayers of petition. We begin by praying for our Pope and for all of our religious and civil leaders, that they may be open to God's guidance and that they may have the courage and wisdom they need to lead well. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For ourselves and for all who have received the gift of faith, that day by day we may seek to do our best and to recognize God's presence and inspiration in our lives. For this, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the members of the poor Clares, and for all people in religious and consecrated life, that on this feast of St. Clare, they may be inspired in their continuing efforts to live the consecrated life and to be a witness of God's love in our world. For this, we pray to the Lord. For the sick and the suffering, for all those who are struggling with persecution or hurt or pain of, or of, of, any, of any kind today, for God's grace and blessings for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for those who have gone before us marked with the sign of faith, that they may have eternal rest with God in heaven, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pause for a moment to bow our heads and offer our own personal intentions. For all of these intentions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we ask you to hear the prayers that we offer you this morning, both those we have spoken aloud and those that are in our hearts, for they are offered through Christ our Lord.
this morning to walk with fruit of the morning, work with human hands to become a rest or spiritual break. Blessed be God forever. Holy Spirit, God, for our heart, may we be accepted by you, Lord. May our sacrifice and your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquity, then cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifices we can use for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the good of God's holy church. As we proclaim your wonders, O Lord, in the Virgin Blessed Clare, we humbly implore your majesty that as her merits are pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favor in your sight through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence, by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you without end as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing. And gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We pray. 
proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the blessed, most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Clair and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, me, your unworthy servant, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. baptism we are God's children and so with confidence we can pray our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us Lord we pray from every evil Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of the Lord's peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am I not worthy that you should, should enter under my under roof, my roof but, but only say the word, and my soul, soul shall be healed. A prayer for those who are unable to receive Holy Communion at this time. My Jesus, I believe you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you, for you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. To ensure that the reception of Holy Communion takes place in a safe and respectful manner, we ask that you please follow these instructions. Instead of individually replying, Amen, upon receiving the host, there will be one general attestation of Amen before distribution begins. Please remain standing in your pew until invited forward by an usher. Ensure your face mask is correctly worn before coming forward and maintain a two meter social distance in the communion line. As you approach the front of the line, sanitize your hands before receiving communion. Bow toward the host. In silence, receive the host in your hands. Step aside to consume the host. Return to your pew as directed by the ushers. Those unable to receive Holy Communion in the hand may come forward to receive a blessing. The Body of Christ. Amen. Our communion hymn is One Love Released, number 6.6 .6 in Celebrate in Song. One bread, one body. One call, one faith, one spirit present in us all, one prayer, one blessing, one hope, one peace, one church, one people, one Spread we share the body of our Lord. Is not this wine we drink the blood of Christ outpoured? One bread, one body, one cup, one call. One faith, one spirit present in us all. One prayer, one blessing, one hope, one peace, one church, one people, 
Let us pray. Renewed by partaking of this divine gift, we pray, O Lord our God, that by the example of Blessed Clare, bearing in our body the death of Jesus, we may strive to hold fast to you alone through Christ our Lord. I invite you to join with me in praying the prayer of Pope Francis to Mary for help and protection during the coronavirus pandemic. O Mary, Mary, you you always always shine shine in our our path path as a sign of salvation and of hope. We We entrust entrust ourselves to you, health of the sick, who at the cross took part in Jesus' pain, keeping your faith firm. You, salvation of your people, know what we need. We are sure you will provide, so that, as in Cana of Galilee, we may return to joy and to feasting after this time of trial. Help us, Mother of Divine Love, to conform to the will of the Father and to do as we are told by Jesus, who has taken upon himself our sufferings and carried our sorrows to lead us through the cross to the joy of the resurrection. Amen. Under your protection, we seek refuge, Holy Mother of God. Do not disdain the entreaties of we who are in trial but deliver us from every danger, O glorious glorious and blessed blessed Virgin. Virgin. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. 
Our missioning hymn is number 439 in the Catholic Book of Worship, The Master Came to Bring Good News, 439. The master 